every school day, we serve breakfast, lunch, a snack, and dinner uh, so that these kids have full stomachs throughout the day and are ready to come in the very next day ready to work again. Living in concentrated poverty, 96% um, of their peers live in poverty. Um, you've got to put in more. You've got to have more. Um, you got to have, you got to recognize that there are things that are lacking in that concentration of poverty that are basic to human development. So if we want success, you've got to have the community school strategy. We need it to succeed in our goal as educators. I think we need it to succeed in the, the mayor's goal of bringing 10,000 more families to Baltimore in having a strong, vibrant city. You are not going to have success at any of those levels if you do not address the concentrated poverty that our children live in and the, the results of that concentrated poverty. Take it out a few decades, community schools will be what will end the concentrated poverty because you will have more jobs and higher salaries so that your poverty rate falls below that 40% mark. 40% is the, is the accepted number at where a community is a center of concentrated poverty. Well, Baltimore has 85% poor living within its, its boundaries. And, um, and there's no other way to do it. Uh, so that's why we need community schools for success at any level, local, city, and I would say take it right on up to the state.